Welcome back to another episode of Deponia 2, um, Chaos and Deponia. We've got to figure out what's in the bathroom. Did it just get colder in here? What? Ah, what is that? Oh, ah, oh no, oh no, 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 no! Anything but that! Take it away! Take it away! Ah! Not this agony! <laughs> Everything okay, kid? Uh, I've been in worse tavern bathrooms. It's just, uh, I heard these noises, and let's just say the toilet paper could be softer. You don't have to play the tough guy for me, kid. I've been in there before, and I know the toilet paper. I feel your pain. By the way, you got a piece stuck to your foot, and you should remove it before someone sees. They would, uh, they wouldn't understand. Hey, I got some rough toilet paper? Hmm, okay. Excuse me? Hmm? You again? I would really love to join you. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? I certainly am reckless enough. And no, you're not. What was that you wanted me to do to prove I'm reckless enough? Shave Donna's cat? No, no, no. I told you not to shave Donna's cat. That'd be extremely dangerous and stupid. Ha <laughs> ha! Danger is my middle name. And stupid is my, uh, um, hmm. Don't try to stop me. Alright, so I gotta shave Donna's cat. But who's uh, Donna? Beat it. I'll get back to you. Whatever. I've probably met Donna somewhere, but who is she? You who? What? Man, Where? he has something for me. I would like. That's good. That's very good. What will it be? Oh, free cucumber. Won't you let me have a free cucumber? Only for a coupon. Ah, great. And where would I get one of these coupons? From the free pharmacy magazine, of course. But I don't see a free pharmacy magazine here. Neither do I. But do you hear me complaining? It's prominently displayed here somewhere. No, it's not. When I took my break earlier, one copy was definitely still there. I tested a new laxative, and suddenly everything had to go very fast. And you took the magazine to the bathroom with you? What for? To read the cartoons? Ever heard of Braille? Also, Gulliver's Tavern is always out of toilet paper. Ah, uh, nothing I need right now. You get what you deserve. See you later. Not if I see you first. Strange toilet paper covered with little bumps. No wonder that, well, actually, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> that's, that's not toilet paper. That's not toilet Is paper, that's real. a prescription? May I touch? At least it seems to be written in Braille, although the writing is a little smeared, but it isn't a prescription. Darn, I was so sure this time. Wait a minute, this is one of my coupons. Where did you find it? <laughs> he was under his nose the whole time. With this, you get a free sample of my latest shipment, Cucumis Agneto, the Cucumber of Revelation. It's so new that there aren't any studies on medium or long-term after effects. Cool. The Cucumber of Revelation. Hey, I think I actually just had an inspiration. You should never trust a blind man, or he'll fob the worst crap off on you. Hmm. This device 
only straightens bananas, which is already useful enough. But it's shaped like a banana. To try out this shredder, but not with my own stuff. Uh, what a pity things automatically belong to me as soon as I take them. But that's the law. Because there's the hand in the sub there that I need for the rock, paper, scissors. You again. I told you to. I did. I am one. Are you refer the way you stomp around? Hmm. I need that cloak somehow. Alright, alright. The broken sunglasses. I knew I could break them. People just shouldn't challenge me. An excellent choice, sir. Ha! Huh. Indestructible? No way. It's broken. And I'm sure you don't have to pay for samples that break when you try them on. Or, uh, or what? Will you be paying by cash or organ donation? Oh, I see. They aren't broken after all. <laughs> My mistake. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, a clue would be just a ticket. I got a cucumber and a juicer hat. Oh, cucumber of revelation, reveal your wisdom to me. These indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. <laughs> See? As good as new. Already? <laughs> I see. Ingenious. I just have to convince this tin can to wear the glasses, and then, um, whatever, something really clever. Then I can steal the thing. Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. See? As good as new. Stop acting cute. The glasses are broken. Excuse me. Where are you? I cannot see you at all. This indestructible high-end gadget is obstructing my view. What an overwhelming experience. Hello. Hello. Gah, that thing sure has some nerve. Can I steal the hat? That's old hat. I should be able to steal this, though. Uh -huh. Did you clear your throat? But you can't see what I'm doing. Or are the sunglasses broken? Certainly not. The sunglasses function perfectly. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Dang it. 
Now that I have removed this fully functional item, may I politely inquire what you are doing over there? Well, I'm I'm just uh, admiring your your golden dragon of invisibility. It's really pretty. I hate you. Run right away. Hey. Hey. Huh? Where did my gold? I must have lost it somewhere. What? Wait, what? Must have tripped over something. Hey, that was the golden dragon of invisibility. So this is where I lost it. Oh, it's like, no, did I screw something up? Let's try this again, shall we? Huh? Where did my golden dragon of invisibility go? I must have lost it. Okay. Ouch! Oh, ha! Oh! Huh. Huh. I must have tripped over something. Hey, that was the golden dragon of invisibility. So this. Ooh. <laughs> it works. I'm invisible. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Darn it. This isn't so easy when you can't see your hands. Yeah, ouch. You couldn't see it, but I pulled off a really cool roll when I landed. I mean, wow! Unbelievable how elegantly I stuck the landing again. Okay, well, let me steal them. Ow! Darn it! This isn't so easy when you can't see your hands. <laughs> I sure fooled him. I feel like I'm being So it wouldn't let me put it on, right? All right, that's the le left frame, left frame. Yeah, guys, left eyed. You again. I I, I am are you the way you Not a bad idea, but I'd have to put it back together first. <laughs> huh. Let's see how well he can see me now. Hey, there we go. All I could do is grab the curtain. Wait a minute. There's a little sign here. No dogs allowed. And underneath is a cute puppy who isn't a member of unorganized crime. Normally, I ignore any sort of warning sign. But hey, that puppy is really cute. Wait a minute. No. And underneath is a cute... Normally, I ignore... But hey...
But looky here. If that isn't a radio station, what have we here? Slides of some sort. Probably the plans of unorganized crime. Let's see what those clowns are up to. Wait a minute. Nothing but scribbles. Somebody smeared finger paint on this. But that's... Hello? Wink, please come in. Uh-oh. There's a radio message coming in. Wink, answer me. Wait a minute. I know that voice. I bet it's Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station. No, that's Cletus. Wink, are you going to pick up or not? This is Cletus. I mean, it must be Cletus. Of course, Gold's fiance. Well, ex fiance, actually. He appears to have survived the crash of the escape pod. But what has he got to do with unorganized crime? I better answer this. I'm great at imitating voices. He'll never catch on. Hello, Cletus. Wink. Is that you? Why are you talking so funny? I'm not talking funny. I sound exactly like Wink. A phonetically trained ear would hear that right away. Stop blabbering nonsense and get to the point. You know good and well that time is running out. Tell me, have you been able to track down my fiancé? Ex-fiancé, you mean? I mean goal, my fiancé. Wait, I've got the picture you wanted. You can print it as a slide. And here's a picture of the cartridge that holds the ascension codes. Ascension? codes. Uh-huh. That nincompoop is tough. He's not giving up. Excuse me? My income group's not enough for living it up. Uh, that should be the least of your worries right now. Do you need any more materials? Where are you, anyway? Why do you want to know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Why, I wonder. <laughs> Because of the handover later? My answer would have been more plausible, but yes, exactly. I'm in an Organon blast tower directly on the cruiser route to Port Fisco. You'll find the coordinates on the next slide. But let me know in advance when you're going to show up here, or the Organon will see to it that your submersible never sees the surface again. Do you get that? Why do you need those ascension codes again? But I already told you! Yes, but your pronunciation leaves a lot to be desired. Ugh. I'll explain it to you just one more time. Ugh. The last high boat will be leaving Deponia from Port of Fisco in a week. So if I don't have the ascension codes by tomorrow, I won't be able to get back to Elysium in time! Now that would be a disaster. You said it. Actually, I shouldn't be telling you any of this, but I'm doing so anyway, because I know about the importance of motivating underlings. For reasons that are really none of your business, I must tell the Council of Elders in Elysium that Deponia is uninhabited. An awful lot depends on on that, everything else is insignificant. <laughs> right. Ulysses, the Organon's prime controller, takes no risks. If my report doesn't reach Elysium in time, he will see to it that Deponia is indeed uninhabited. Say what? I mean, uh, <coughs> what did you say? The Organon has the means to turn the entire area around the Rust Red Sea into a desert. If I haven't got my hands on the ascension codes by tomorrow, they will drop a bomb from this blast tower. As a result, all life on Deponia would probably be extinguished. This slide provides the proof. But then you would be dead too. Oh, bravo. You're beginning to see why it's so important to me to get gold back. I hope you'll be sufficiently motivated now to find her. Cletus, out. Uh, just, just a moment. I, uh, 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 oh, blast it. What do I do now? If Cletus doesn't get the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, then all life on Deponia will be eradicated. But if he does get them, all of Deponia will be destroyed. I have to beat him to it somehow. Looks like it all depends on how fast I can bring Goal around. In other words, on my charms. <laughs> it can't be so hard then. <laughs> hmm. Button. Is this the cat I shave with a, a, a razor? 
<laughs> Shaving the house cat of a criminal syndicate would be really extreme. So extreme that they would be guaranteed to make me an honorary member. Well then, let's do it. Huh? What's this? This is stuff. Then where's the real kitty? Ah, oh, well, who cares? Uh-oh. He's not a small cat. It's a large cat. What have you done? The boss really isn't gonna like that. We'll see. Boss! Boss! Here comes the boss. How's my hair? <laughs> what a question. Perfect as always. What? Who? What's all this about? I mean, where's the boss? Somewhere behind this mad woman? <laughs> I caught an intruder. Oops! Aw, oh, poor kitty. Good kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. This little dipshit shaved kitty. What do you want us to do with it? <laughs> my thoughts exactly. But mm. she's only twitching. Th this lady suffers from ticks. <laughs> well done. Now you've really ticked her off. So, any last words? I want to make Donna an offer. <laughs> All right. Donna's listening. Hmm. Ascension codes. I can get you the cartridges with the ascension codes. <laughs> Donna says no. I have another offer to make. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, what did she say? Isn't that obvious? That I'm being pardoned? <laughs> what, I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> Got me there. What are your plans for me, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> right. Will you please tell me now what that winking means? <laughs> Guess. That I'll be made into shark food? <laughs> Bravo, you guessed it. Yippee! Oh. Mercy! <laughs> Donna says no. Go ahead. A quick and painful right. death is better than having to endure this farce any longer. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're agreed then. Hey, no, wait! It's not too late to be friends! Say bye-bye, Rufus. Uh-oh. That wasn't pretty. Wait, I'm out. But I still haven't gotten my hand. Go, go, Rufus, run! Huh. What the? Do you see what I? <laughs> Looks like once. Hey, this is a mini game. Is... <laughs> Again? <laughs> My thought. I have another offer to make. <laughs> All right. Donna's listening. I could join you. <laughs> Donna says no. Another offer to make. <laughs> <laughs> I have another offer to make. <laughs> All right, Donna's listening. I'll give you money, a lot of money. <laughs> Donna says no. I have another offer to make. <laughs> <laughs> I have another offer. <laughs> All right, I could join you. <laughs> Donna says no. I have another offer to make. <laughs> <laughs> right. Will you please tell me now what that winking means? <laughs> Guess. 
I retract my question. Even better. I have another offer to make. <laughs> All right. Donna's listening. Forget it. I refuse to negotiate with criminals. Have it your way. I have another offer to make. <laughs> Donna says no. I have another offer to make. <laughs> <laughs> right. I have another offer to make. <laughs> All right. Donna's listening. I'll give you money. A lot of money. She'll say no to that. Donna says no. I have another offer to make. <laughs> <laughs> right. Will you please? <laughs> that I'm being. <laughs> what? I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Got me there. I have another offer to make. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mercy! <laughs> what? I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Got me there. Mercy! <laughs> <laughs> right. Mercy! <laughs> what? I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? So that's no. <laughs> Got me there. The next one should mean she agrees with what I'm saying. And the last one means yes. I have another offer to make. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mercy! <laughs> what? I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Got me there. Mercy! <laughs> <laughs> right. I have another offer to make. <laughs> All right. Donna's listening. Forget it. I refuse to negotiate with criminals. Have it your way. Mercy! <laughs> Donna says no. What are your plans for me, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> right. Please tell me now what that winking means. There's some pattern to this, and I'm not sure what it is. That I'll be made into shark food? <laughs> Bravo, you guessed it. Yippee! Oh. Go ahead. A quick and painful death is better. <laughs> Donna says no. What? I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> Now you have me confused. Are you being serious or not? <laughs> she nodded. Did you see that? Yeah, there we go. I hardly believe it. Apparently, sure how I that, that but okay. means that you are now one of us. Congratulations, uh... Rufus. Rufus, right. There's not many that make it, too, so far. How did that happen? There it is. There's an arrow somewhere. Yay! Hand. Finally, my own tournament hand. Now, I can go and, and join the resistance. It only has four fingers. People here only have four fingers. Alrighty. On guard! What is this? A challenge? Let me see. Yeah, those are actually real tournament fingers. And they're not loaded. So, 
Let's get started. Are you ready to play rock, paper, scissors? Alright, before I hit the next button, since this has gone long, we're going to call it an episode. When we come back next time, we'll uh, play rock, paper, scissors. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Bye.